In problem 38 of section 3.2, we're assuming that we just have two arbitrary continuous functions that are defined on some interval a, b. And we ask, well, if we say that the area between the two graphs uh, on this interval is um, a, so the integral from a to b of the absolute value of the difference of the two functions, um, what about the area between the graphs of c, f, and c, g, if we take some constant c? Uh, is that is it true that the, we can just multiply the area by c? Well, we know that, or assuming that the area um, between the graphs of f and g is equal to a, let's just see what the, graph, what the area between uh, c, f, and c, g is. So area between c, f, and c, g on the interval a, b, well, we'll just integrate the function uh, c, f of x minus c f of g, or c g of x, over the interval a to b. So this is equal to the integral from a to b of absolute value of c times f of x minus g of x. Alright, now this is just going to be equal to the absolute value of c times the absolute value of f of x minus g of x. And now since this is a constant, we can fact, or we can pull it out of the integrand and just integrate uh, or look at the integral from a to b of uh, f of x minus g of x. But this part right here is um, what we already know to be a, the area between uh, f and g. So this whole thing is equal to absolute value of c times a. So it's not entirely true that we can just multiply um, the area by the constant. Uh, if the constant is positive, then we definitely can because what we really need to do is multiply by the absolute value um, of the constant. So if it's positive, then we have no problem. But if it's negative, then we better take the absolute value. So if we wanted to rephrase this, we could say that um, the area between uh, CF and CG is equal to the absolute value of C times the area between F and G.